Hi, it's Dwyer. Keeping it free. Blogspot.com. Let's talk about George Zimmerman. George Zimmerman was acquitted of the murder of unarmed teenager Trayvon Martin, who Zimmerman outweighed by 40 pounds, but nonetheless shot allegedly in self-defense after being told by the police to stop pursuing him. Now, supporters of George Zimmerman this morning must be feeling a little bit embarrassed. Who knows George Zimmerman better than his wife and family? Well, George Zimmerman's wife called the cops during a domestic dispute. Let's hope that the press covers this domestic incident as much as they covered the Zimmerman trial because it's revealing. In the wife's call to the police, the wife claimed that Zimmerman had his hand on his gun and was urging her to step closer to him. She, of course, was terrified, didn't know what Zimmerman would do, was afraid that Zimmerman would use his gun. And all of this took place after Zimmerman had punched her father in the face. Think about that. I'm guessing that if Zimmerman were arrested, he would claim he did this in self-defense. In my opinion, this is not the last we've heard of George Zimmerman. I believe he is a deeply troubled young man who is living with the fact that, in my opinion, he knows that he killed Trayvon Martin and got away with murder, right? This story is going to be ongoing. Just understand that this guy is not only out there pursuing African Americans who happen to be in his neighborhood, but this guy is also doing things like threatening his wife, in her opinion, with guns and punching his in-laws, right? If you supported George Zimmerman, I want you to consider the fact that you may have supported an unstable, troubled man. Let me hear from you. Leave your comments for us. I'm going to continue to follow George Zimmerman because I thought the Trayvon Martin verdict was a travesty of justice. And I think over time, we're going to realize that it, way, it may well have been. Thanks for stopping by.